An update on the thousands of Rhode Islanders trying to access millions of dollars in unclaimed property. Now, this money includes everything from refunds to outstanding checks. And now we've learned many are having trouble getting the money they're owed. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien went to the state treasurer for answers. She joins us now with the important information you need to know. Molly? Well, Mike and Shannon, as part of the Your Money program, the Rhode Island Treasury is currently working on reuniting $350 million with its rightful owners. Belongs to the Rhode Islanders. Monday, the Rhode Island Treasury announced the pot of unclaimed property grew by $23 million last year, bringing new interest in the Your Money program. In the last couple of days, we've been able to reunite nearly 8,000 Rhode Islanders with more than $3 million. Your Money matches people, businesses, even nonprofits with their unclaimed property. Treasurer Seth Magaziner says launching the new Find RI Money website streamlined the claims process. You enter your name, it'll tell you right away if we're holding unclaimed property for you. For many people then, all you have to do is click a couple of buttons and we will send you a check in the mail. Magaziner says some claims will require more documentation. Estates, where somebody is claiming money not for themselves, but for a deceased relative you know, maybe a deceased parent or grandparent. And in that case, uh, we are required by law to request some information before we can process that claim. So, you know, a death certificate and that sort of thing. Even if your case is complex, Magaziner says you're still entitled to that property by law. So even if it's 10 years later, 20 years, 50 years later, it never expires. And so people can claim it at any time. So where did this unclaimed property come from? The money can be left in old bank accounts, uncashed paychecks, unreturned rent or utility uh, deposits and so on. And getting this money back is great, but if you want to know how to prevent your property from becoming abandoned in the first place, we have some tips for you on our website at wprr.com. I'm Molly O'Brien with Eyewitness News.